Talk. I'm Janie and I'm Yadi and today's show we have some really awesome topics we've got who wore it better we've got glee ending after season six and we've got fall fashion trends and we've got our sweet and low some extra foam and we'll be closing the scene with hotter ice mm -hmm. mm. all right so let's start with our first segment it's called taste test we're gonna be covering who wore it better so celebrities that wore something that was the same so oh. first up we've got Kim Kardashian versus Jennifer Hudson yeah, we they got... were both wearing a Donna Karan wrap dress in gray. What do you think? I love the look. Let's talk about the look first right. before we even like compare who's is better. They're both very curvy women, and it's a dress that really flatters both of their curves very nicely. I agree. Um, I do like the draping in the front that gives it the uh, little appeal of what's what's under there. Let's see what that is. Yeah. So draw some attention here. You know, I really like it, and it's very flattering for mm -hmm. their figure. I think so, So that's too. what's really important to me. I must have repeated myself in that instance, but otherwise, <laughs> like, what No, else? but it's definitely a dress for a curvy woman, because I don't think it would look right on, you know, a tall, slim woman. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, but as far as who wore better, I mean, it is just, I think it's a tie almost. I really? mean, they both did it really well. I don't and know. differently. I like her strappy is better than uh, the regular uh, stilettos from the Kim, pumps. So yeah, yeah, I, I do like that a little bit better. Okay, so I'm only gonna say I'm only gonna vote for Kim Kardashian because we love Kimmy. Yeah, but well, not just that. <laughs> of course we love Kimmy, but I do love her blonde hair, and I think that the blonde against the gray just looks really pretty, and I like how she has like the old Hollywood kind of hairstyle going on with the side swept curl, and I just I really like that. So I think that that makes the dress look pretty, you know, kind of complimentary. So you're for Kimmy. I vote Kimmy. All right. You know. You vote Jen? Yeah, I vote Jen. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we'll agree to disagree. We'll agree to they disagree. Did, they did both wear it really nicely, though. Yeah, it was both very, worn very well. Exactly. So. Okay, so now we've got Nicole Scherzinger versus Paris Hilton. They were both seen wearing a purple Herb Ledger dress. That's hot. <laughs> Let's bring back 2005, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, so honestly, I'm voting for Paris Hilton on this one. You know what? Yeah, I agree with you. Yeah, because... It just, I don't know. I, I don't. I, okay, the cut of um, the dress, like around the chest area, kind of falls a little bit too low. I'm looking at that? On Nicole. I'm just like looking at it. I'm just like, well, it's a U shape on her, but yeah. it's a nice lay on Paris. And I don't know. So like, I'm just looking at it. I'm just like, I like Paris's lay a lot yeah, better. Yeah, I don't know if it's because of her chest. Like, does she have saggy boobs? I don't really know what it is. It just but doesn't. I don't like how, you know, her body kind of changed the, the shape of the dress somewhat. Okay, so we absolutely agree that that Paris did it Paris better. Paris Hilton did it better, absolutely. Sorry, Nicole. All right, who's next, girl? All right, I think we have Nicole Richie and Taylor Swift. Yes, they the both knot. had, yes, top knot with bangs. Ooh. So, so cute. Oh, my God, seriously, like, they make me want bangs. And they make me want to do a top knot. I want to do bangs, but like I'm not sure how it's gonna look at me just because <laughs> I love the top knot look so much. Whoop. Yeah, so but it looks cute together. I mean, they clearly prove that. Absolutely, I love it. It's just a cute look over round, and you could dress it up or down. Exactly. So I really like that about the look the most. Um, Who as do you for, go for? Dun dun dun. Oh, it's so hard. I, I know. Just, I think it's too cute on both of them. So I'm, I'm just gonna say both. I can't. I can't pick. No, we have to choose. We have to choose. We have to choose. Oh. Yeah. If you had to absolutely choose, who would you choose? <laughs> Based on her face shape, I'd say Taylor. Oh my God, I was gonna say the same thing. Yeah. I was gonna say the same thing because I kind of like her bangs. Um, Nicole's bangs kind of fall a little bit too low. They're almost completely in her eye and it makes the bangs look really long because they kind of start too far back. Yeah. I don't know, and I like Taylor's bun a little bit more. It looks a little bit I more know. ballerina. The, the bangs on Taylor frame her face a lot better. And the point of bangs is to draw attention to the eyes yeah. rather than below them. to, to your verge of your nose, girl. Yeah. You, you need to you need to keep our eyes off your nose. Yeah. Because that yet that nose isn't doing you any favors. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I said it. Okay. So up next we've got Courtney Kardashian and Gwen Stefani. They were both wearing these floral pants from Gwen Stefani's clothing line, Lamb or L A M B. I don't know how you really say it. Yeah. Um Love Angel Music Baby. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Okay. Yeah. You girl, you know it. You know it. I love Gwen. I love me some Gwen. Yeah. I don't know how much I love these pants. I don't I don't <laughs> dislike the pants. They've got like a checkered background and then the floral print over that. I don't dislike the pants. Um I don't know. I mean, Courtney also wore it with the vest, the matching vest that goes with it. So I think it was kind of a little bit too much floral going on. 
but she didn't do it bad. Like, if I were to put that on, it would not look cute. She didn't do it bad. No. However, I'm still voting for Gwen Stefani on this one because she, you know, kind of toned down the pattern with a leather jacket, black top. I'm just taking her shades. You're I want shade. those shades. Just like, oh, they're so cute. Just the cat eye thing is really working yeah. out well. Um, varsity jackets are really in this fall and everything else. Um, oh, it's a varsity jacket, not, if the, you not want a leather jacket. To do like a pattern, you can't overkill the pattern. Mm -hmm. You can't put it straight out unless unless it's a uniform, like a jumper okay. or like a, like a pantsuit. Right. You really can't put like one pattern mm -hmm. and just roll with it. It's just, it's too much. <laughs> Kind of like Lena Dunham from last week. Uh, let's, not, let's not relive that. Thank you. <laughs> too much floral. Too much floral. Too okay, much. but Courtney's so adorable. I do love her. She's a great fashion icon. But this time, I do not vote for her. Mm -mm. No. Nope. I love Gwen anyway. Okay. And I always cheer for her. Yeah, she's awesome. She's okay, so right next now. we've got Demi Lovato versus Katy Perry. So mm -hmm. Demi just dyed her hair that teal blue color, which is a color that Katy Perry once had her own hair. Mm -hmm. Pretty much the same color. Mm -hmm. I... I love it. I like it. I like it on Demi. See, I don't know. When <laughs> I think about blue hair, I think back to my high school days when I used to be a goth. Yeah. And those are actually not Bad very, memories. very dark days. Yeah. So um, I don't really like to think about funny colored hair or anything like that. Okay. I'm just like, I feel like you should just embrace your natural hair color. I mean, yeah. like if 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 not your own natural hair color, just something that remotely looks human. Mm -hmm. You know, people aren't born born with blue hair. I mean, there right. are people that want to be, but people are not born with blue hair. <laughs> not even Japan. So just nobody's born with blue hair. Okay, <laughs> but in this case, the girls both have had blue hair. Whose hair did you like better? Demi's. 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 Yeah. Just Seriously though, Demi Katie's. can pull any hair off. I mean, she's had different hair colors. She's had different hair cuts. She's had bangs. She's had no bangs. Mm -hmm. Different kinds of bangs. And I absolutely love Demi. Yeah. Katie's hair is so burnt in this picture too. It's just yeah. Katie. Yeah, that hair It's too. just <laughs> hanging right there, and I'm just like, you know, I don't like, I don't like this, the sleek bob on her. Mm -hmm. I mean, she's got a heart shaped face, so it's just like. But even if it around. weren't for the style, I'm not feeling the color. It's not too flattering on. On, on Katy Perry. No, and she has blue eyes. Like, why yeah. would you want to play down your eyes for people to look at your and hair? She'll wear your blue scarf, and then she'll have the whole look. <laughs> Nothing against your scarf. <laughs> I'm just saying. Look, my scarf. <laughs> I love that. All right. So for our next segment, <laughs> keep calm and drink coffee. Sad news that we've got. Glee's creator Ryan Murphy has actually just confirmed that after season six, Glee will be ended. So season six will be the last season. <laughs> how, do you, how do you feel about that? I don't care. <laughs> I, I never cared about Glee. I I'm love Glee. Sorry, I, I just love, love, never love Glee. ever cared. Okay, well then I'm gonna talk about it. I absolutely love Glee. According to Ryan Murphy, Ryan Murphy, I'm sorry. Um, he said that Corey Monteith's death kind of made him, you know, rethink the ending of the show. So he's gonna have it, you know, have the finale of the entire show focus on Corey Monteith and Finn Hudson. Mm -hmm. And it's going to kind of focus on Finn Hudson and Rachel Berry's love and their relationship. I know you don't care what I'm saying, oh, but I, I, I care. I know what you're saying, and I really, I mean, it's very sad what happened yeah. to Corey Monteith. And, yeah. you know, that's just the price of fame. You just, you go out like a light sometimes. But, right. you know, it's nice that they respect him so much and be like, this show is going to be dedicated to him. Yeah, I do appreciate tribute. what they're doing. Is it my favorite show? No, but I appreciate what they're doing. Yeah. Well, I love that show. I'm seriously going to miss it. I'm going to start tweeting like the the stars were tweeting when um, Breaking Bad was ending. I'm going to mm. miss Glee a we'll, lot. We'll, d we'll tweet it. You know, yeah. I might even watch, even though I'm not really the world's biggest fan. Of start watching it on Netflix, do. though, so you understand everything that's going on. I love Glee. I think you will you'll have, like it. You will have to chain my arms and tape my eyes open. It's not happening. Then so be it, all right? So oh, be my it. God. Help me. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> Next segment, we've got our flavor of the week, fall trends oh, again. <laughs> so introduce some trends to me. Okay, so this year for the ladies, we have the dark red lips look. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about that. I love that vamp lip. So the dark berry lips or the really dark red lips. I like that trend. I've I'm tried it. I'm not it. used to it. So to me, I'm like, whoa, I'm looking like crazy right now, like a vampire. I don't know what you want to call it. I am dying to try it's it. It's beautiful. I'm dying to try it just because I have really, 
I have really light skin. Yeah. So it's going to be a nice contrast mm -hmm. with like dark hair, dark skin. Just a dramatic lip for me. Yeah. But based on how I look with lipstick, it never comes out right. You should try I can't it though. Makeup. I just can't make up. I think another thing too is since I have dark hair, the dark lips, it's like too much. I don't know. I don't but I do so. love the trend. I absolutely love the trend. I don't think so. Like maybe if you actually like did, if you went for the dark, but put like in like a gold or lighter overtone to give it right. a little more glow. Like a highlight. Yeah. You'd actually be able to get a really good vamp lip going yeah. for you. Yeah, and so you have very let's full go to lips, so it's really nice. Yay! Let's go to Mac and get. Let's go shopping. <laughs> let's go shopping for some dark <laughs> lipstick for That'd this. That'd be fantastic. This fall trend. Mm -hmm. All right, another fall trend. We've got cardigans on the men. I think that is such a cute look. Now, I love it. in the past, I used to think it was like so preppy looking and just not cute at all. Something that only girls should do. But the way that you know, it's all about how you style it. So the way that we see the guy in this picture, mm -hmm. I mean, he just looks so dapper with his vest, mm -hmm. I mean, his cardigan. I love it. Yeah, I just, I love the look I always have. I could never yeah. get, I could never get anybody I was dating on board with it, though. Yeah. That was, they're just like, meh, like a gay. And I'm like, <laughs> no, it's not, though. It's really clean and yeah. sophisticated. And they're like, meh, it's still a sweater, meh. And I'm yeah. just like, what if I knitted it for you? It'd be like, meh, I don't know. <laughs> but pair but, it up with some nice combat boots for men, really nice. That sounds you like know? something I would wear. Yeah. Just like, but no, but that's a cute trend for men. combat boots, I'd do it. Yeah. You know, and I just like to steal my boyfriend's sweaters. Yeah. So like, yeah. <laughs> it's think, fun to do. I think all girls like to do that. Yeah. So I have like five hoodies at home of my boyfriends. Yeah. So girls, encourage your boyfriends to get sweaters so you can steal it. Yes. <laughs> and cardigans too. Yeah. Okay. That's what it's about. And wear, you know, your little uh, denim chambray under that. Yeah. yeah. That's a cute look. It is and with cute the top look. knot. Oh, exactly. that's cute. That's and cute. the bangs. Wear the chambray, the top knot, the bangs, the vamp lips, the, the boy sweater, and the combat boots. Oh my that's God. what it's about. <laughs> we just pulled together a whole look in like two minutes. Ooh, that's nifty. <laughs> I got to put, put that on the list. Ooh, yeah. that's nice. <laughs> All right, fifth segment, we've got our sweet and low. Hmm. Some good things, some sad things. Yay. So our first sweet, we've Kel Kelly Clarkson actually just married her fiance, Brandon Blackstock. Yay. And I saw some of their wedding pictures, and here's a wedding picture right now. Mm -hmm. They look so cute. Mm -hmm. I mean, it looks like she had a nice little, you know, country wedding. It's just adorable. I absolutely love it. I think that they are so cute together. They've been together for, what is it, a few years or so? She's yeah. been dating him, and she's, she's like, I'm so happy yeah. that I can't write any more music about being mad. Yeah. I'm just like, she's like, I'm just too damn happy. I can't do it. So uh -huh. it's cute. Like, their love is adorable. Yeah, so. and she, you know, apparently she was like, oh, finally, you know, and it seems like she was waiting a long time for her kind of fairy tale wedding or her forever and her husband, and it's officially happened for her. So, very happy for her. What do you think of the dress? I think her dress is so cute. I'm very into country, you know, country styles, and it looks like she had a nice little country wedding. So, I really like her dress. I see she's got kind of a lacy look going, and I think it's really. Yeah, really it's pretty. like what if it's I really like the ruching behind it and everything else and the yeah. lace pickup. It's yeah. really cute, you know, and it's not like the princess ball gown that all the celebrities exactly. love to do. Like it's just like it's it's simple. It's country. It's really classic. Yeah. It's a timeless look. And I like her hair. It looks like she's got like a nice pretty jewel headpiece in there. And I think it looks really, really pretty. Yeah. And I love the blonde hair on her. Honestly, yeah. I think I like the blonde better than than brunette on Kelly. Oh, yeah. You they disagree? Look like, I I. I've always liked the blonde a little bit better. Yeah. Um, when she had dark hair, she always just looked like she was always just so, just like every picture she'd literally be in a face going. Yeah. <laughs> she'd just have this really bad puss on her face yeah. the entire time. And I'm like, cheer up. Aww. You know, just, you're making music. You're really famous. You won American Idol. Cheer up. Yeah. Like, well, she, and now I she think can. She like, look gorgeous. at that smile on her face. It's so cute. Yeah, she so, looks really their love is very so cute. happy. I love them so much. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, our next segment, we've got our sweet and low. I mean, hello, we are in sweet We low. are in sweet and low. Where's my coffee? Let me get some coffee. Yeah, you need, to, you need to take like a giant swig of that, and I'll continue that for you. Kate Middleton has been spotted about in her post-pregnancy style. I'm sorry, that was just too funny. <laughs> coffee talk. 
<laughs> Coffee talk just goes. Oh my god. Yes. Okay. So what were you saying, Kate Middleton? Kate Middleton's post-pregnancy style. Mm -hmm. She literally is deflated like a balloon and has gone back to her normal <laughs> body, and I kind of hate her for it. Yeah. I, I hate mean, you, Your Highness. She's got a completely <laughs> like I don't see no baby fat anywhere. Yeah. I don't see any rolls, no love handles. Okay. She looked absolutely amazing, and I am not surprised because she was flawless then, and she's so flawless now. Batch. Yeah. <laughs> Love her. No, but she's amazing. And I mean, I don't know. Like, I saw something, you know, online and the media. People were kind of bashing Kim Kardashian for that picture she posted, right? Mm -hmm. And they were like, look, no matter what you do, you're not Kate Middleton. I know you oh. wish you lost your weight like that. And I was like, come on, people, stop it. Everybody's body is different. Okay, and everybody will lose the weight on their own time. That is not even fair. Yeah. Considering how Kate Middleton is an athletic build. Yeah. Like, they have two completely different builds. Exactly. Like, uh, there's a specific science to this called, me like, your mesomorph and, like, some, mm -hmm. some other things like that. But there's a certain body type that you have. Sometimes you gain fat yeah. easily. Sometimes you gain muscle easily. Yeah. And sometimes you're right in the middle and you don't really gain much weight easily. So yeah. it's, like, it's hard. Kate's a different body type than me. Kate is an ectomorph and Kim is a mesomorph. Absolutely. They're just different. And Kate Middleton looks absolutely flawless once again. I hope my metabolism will be that fast. I hope so. Probably won't happen because it's not like that now. Mm, eh, <laughs> you know, like, I'd, I'd just keep doing my sit-ups and eating my carrot sticks and being sad. So, <laughs> <laughs> you know. Just but she looks really, really great. And I love... I love her outfit that she's got right now. Her her style has always been amazing. It's nautical. It's preppy. Yeah, I, I love, love it. it. It's cute. Um, I've never been a real preppy style person, but yeah. like you know, just she's always pulled it off really nicely. Mm -hmm. But nice. she she pulls off anything she wears. Mm -hmm. So our low for the week is actually the split between Kris Jenner and Bruce Jenner. Yes. Oh my God. I mean, I mean, okay. So all right. The okay, whatever. Chris and Bruce Jenner, they split, right? Mm -hmm. But we kind of see on Keeping Up with the Kardashians that he bought a house elsewhere. In Malibu. In Malibu. And so she, it kind of, like, how long have they really been split for, you know? Like, they've been living separately for, like, over six months now. Yeah. So why is this such a big deal? Yeah. Like, I thought they were already separated at yeah. that point. Yeah, I don't know. I guess it's just a big deal because now is that they actually kind of released it to the public. Yeah. You know, I mean... We see things on Keeping Up, and maybe it's not really what's going on. I mean, like, why why not just get the full, bam, divorce? I mean, like, uh, just get it with the, all, all the toppings on it, you know? Just because they always fight whenever they see each other. They're already living separately, and their yeah. kids are all grown and out of the house. Like, what's, what's the point? Well, no, they still have Kendall and Kylie at home. But, exactly. I mean, they're still friends. They're still keeping in touch. You know, Kris Jenner posted a picture with Bruce, and she was like, love you, Bruce, or whatever it was that she said, but they're still keeping in touch, and, you know, there's no kind of what? tension between, you know, each other, so. They confuse me. Famous people, you confuse me. I have an entire show about famous people, and I'm still very confused by you, yeah. so just, I mean, if you guys, if you guys are going to separate, cool. If you guys are going to get divorced, cool. If you're not going to separate, cool. Like Maybe they just kind of need some time. <laughs> to, I don't know. I don't, it's just confusing, because also, they've been married for over 20 years, so, do you love each other still, or do you not? Like, it's one or the other. I don't is know. That, is that, like, the time where you actually discover, like, when and how long you've been married, and you're just, and you look at your partner one day, and you're like, oh, shit. Yeah. Like, that's, like, is that what happened? I don't know. I <laughs> After don't know. 20 years, you're like, oh, I think, shit. I think it's just Kris <laughs> Jenner's just very controlling with Bruce, and I feel like it. the whole split might have been more on his side. Like, all right, I need my own space. Maybe they're just taking some time apart and just really evaluating, you know, respect their that. marriage. I respect that, absolutely. Exactly. Just like, I need, I need my space to do my thing, and you need your space to do your thing. Mm -hmm. So, And it's kind of, it just kind of is funny. It's kind of like Courtney and Scott, how they sleep in totally different rooms and beds, and it's just like, people, you're together. What are you doing? I still think that's weird. Yeah, you know, I know like, it's weird. Of course, that's what you, I'm saying. Why wouldn't you want to wake up next to the person you love every day? Like, why? Do you really love each other? Yeah, mm -hmm. like, I mean, it's confusing to me because I thought that's what ha what happens when you get married. Like, yeah. you just you just have to share a bed. Yeah. Unless he snores. That's probably it. Lord, <laughs> Lord Distick probably has, like, some nasty nostrils or something, you know? Like. <laughs> Speaking of Lord Distick, let's move on to our segment number seven. We've got Hot or Not, Lord Distick, Scott Distick, is actually on our list. So, 
I think we all know how Janie feels. Just look at her face. I mean, come oh on. Oh, my God. <laughs> I can't even. I love him. Yeah. I think I might cry. I'm a cry. I love him so much. Yeah. <laughs> no, I love Scott Disick, too. I mean, he is very handsome. He's hilarious. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> just like, I, I see him all the time. And he's usually, he's right there with, like, the most asshole comment in the world. Yeah. Just like. Here I am again. You guys, don't you just love how every week I bringing up a guy that I think is hot in, my, in our hot or not segment. This is kind of a tradition now. He, Can you he get is it? more than just a guy. Thank you. All right. Sorry. <laughs> Lord, Lord Disick. Lord Disick forever. He's a lord. He, he actually it. has the mail sent to his house <laughs> under Lord Disick. Yes. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> he's, he's killing it. He's too much. I love him. But the thing with, with Scott is either you love him or you hate him because some people really love him, you know, kind of like we do. I think he's really funny and he's just, you know, whatever. Well, some and some people think he's a He's a, 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 so. a, a dupish. I, I don't know. I can't really think of a word that isn't, that I cannot say, that yeah. I can say on TV. There are yeah. plenty of words that I could not say, but, <laughs> you know, just words that I can say. Words. Oh, he's he's kind of a dinkus. Dinkus. That that's a D word I can say on television. He is a dinkus. I just said the other D word. Mm -hmm. But all right. Uh, anyway, um, okay, Scott Disick, hot. Hot. Okay. Hot. All right. Okay. Next one. Tell me. Stiletto nails. Not hot. I'm sorry. I gotta give like two thumbs down to that. I don't think those nails are cute at all. I like my short nails like this. How do you do things with stiletto nails? I just can't. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> like you, you would type it on the computer even... like one key at a time. Yeah, and I know it's something really trendy right now, but I just don't, I don't respect the trend. They I look, I don't. they look like the little claws, like at the end, of, like people look like they have like T-Rex arms. You like know what they gonna, remind like, me of? You, you know what they remind me of like the, in like the Halloween store when you want to put like fake nails on, but it's like not a real nail. It's like a little thing, like a little love I, thing I, you put I on your that's finger. that's what the people are doing. Yeah, it's like <laughs> I, I think don't... that's what they're doing. They're just slipping on those nail glove thingies and they're going out and they're painting yeah. different colors and they're <laughs> Yeah, but I don't know. And like also that they're you know, then people like to kind of bling out their stiletto <laughs> nails and I don't know. I mean totally I said I don't respect the trend before. I respect it. If you love it, that's fine. I'm not feeling the trend. I'm more for my short boy nails painted of course i don't love it and i'm gonna tell you that i don't love it so yeah. don't don't put that don't put that ass in my face you know like nope not nope, hot not hot okay not <laughs> hot all right so tis the season october pumpkin picking pumpkin, hot pumpkin everything pumpkin spice pumpkin pie pumpkin i don't know what else pumpkin carving yeah pumpkin car <laughs> you know like i just always make like the puke and pumpkins they have the ones that are just like Rah! yeah so, like those are fun to make um my friend made a really scary one it says the wi-fi is down mm -hmm. <laughs> i've actually i've gone pumpkin picking i just went about two weeks ago but i have never ever ever in my life carved a pumpkin really yeah, I mean, I've just never tried it. It just looks like it's really hard. I don't think I'm crafty enough for that. No, I mean, like, all you have to do is, like, you cut open the head and you, like, take out, like, Janie's the little like, gutty part. Janie's like, how dumb are you? Yeah, <laughs> you, put, you take out the little gutty part and then you cut it again and you cut out a little yeah, part. Yeah, but it know? looks like it'd be kind of hard to really get, like, a perfect square eye, perfect little mouth. I don't know. If it's not Jack perfect, Jack I'm not lanterns are not about being perfect. It's just about, like being yeah. creative or just being funny yeah I that, don't know. that's just my case i just like to be funny with my jaggle lanterns yeah so i don't know like, so i got i got pumpkins when i went pumpkin picking and all i did was painted it i painted one white did like the little chevron pattern that we talked about the little oh zigzag God. that's in, so cute in like gold <laughs> glitter you know just like really cute things like that then i have another one that i put um like little push pins in but like the flat ones so it's like little silver polka dots all over it just really that's me. I don't really carve it. I'll just kind of decorate it. She has stylish pumpkins. Yeah. She, does, she doesn't need jack-o'-lanterns because she's got styling pumpkins. Exactly. <laughs> your your jack-o'-lantern, I'm like stylish pumpkin. Yeah, I, I like I like the scary things that. But I will I'll carve a pumpkin. Holiday. I'm gonna carve it and I'm gonna bring it in. Absolutely. Let's see. It's gonna be so ugly. So next we have American Horror Story. Oh, what you think? Scary. So that's actually a series um, centered on a collection of different characters in different locations. So they've got different, you know, three different seasons. One was based on an insane asylum. One was on like a haunted house, and now one's on like a witch's coven. Mm -hmm. 
I think they're just scary, moving scary. up the East Coast. Yeah. Because um, they had once they had the first one, which was based in a place like on Delaware. Exactly. And actually, the second one was actually some inspiration was used from the psychiatric center in my hometown. Oh on God. Long Island, you oh know, God. so it's like it's it's some scary stuff in there. Yeah. And so I think that's really cool. But like, but are these are the these are actual the witches, haunted places? So it's like up in Salem. Yeah. yeah. Actual haunted places, you know. So okay. A so few of the a few of the scenes are actually shot in uh, Westchester. Yeah. So um, we actually could get on to that set. <laughs> no, I'm good. I'm okay. Yeah, I don't yeah. want to go. Look, when I went to Hawaii once, we went on like a haunted, you know, like tour to like a real haunted, you know, place. Mm -hmm. I couldn't do it. I paid for the trip and everything and the excursion and I couldn't do it. I stayed behind in the van with my high school professor because this was like um, for my high school trip, whatever, my senior trip. I couldn't do it. I was hysterical crying. I cannot <laughs> do scary things. I can't. I won't even see a scary movie. I'm going to get you so bad. No. You, no, you no, should no. not mention this stuff about me. I'm going to get you nightmares. so bad. I will I'm going to get you. Um, right, what's so the movie called? That scary movie? Well, there's they a lot of movies like several, called Scary Movie, but. <laughs> several ones. <laughs> <laughs> well, whatever. I saw a scary I movie know. and I slept with oh, my light no. on for six months after that. I could not sleep in the dark after oh, that. Oh, my God, sweetie. All right. I'll be, I'll be nice to you. I'm a baby. All right. So we got to wrap this up. Mm -hmm. So we're going to close with our Tweet of the Week. Yes. Our Tweet of the Week is from a very good childhood friend, show. Childhood show, you mm -hmm. know. Mondays are kind of like Sam from Clarissa Explained It All. They come right through the window without asking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I um, agree with this. I hate Mondays. So uh, I totally agree with that. Hey, you know, like we could we could be shooting our show on Mondays and nobody would even know it. I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, but Mondays are just, I think everyone feels the same way about Mondays too. It's just, I'm like a walking, I'm like the walking dead on Monday. On Monday, I actually have like the most energy and I'm just like, yeah, the weekend, I'm so pumped for the weekend, everything was great. And then Tuesday hits and I am basically at the bottom <laughs> of my mood and I'm just like, I never want to experience anything ever on oh Tuesday. No. I hate Tuesday. Tuesdays are bad too, but Mondays <laughs> I can't because I just kind of got to come back into reality after the weekend. It's like, I'm just not ready for that. Mm -hmm. So that just about wraps it up today, yep. you know. So I'm Janie. And I'm Yadi, and we will see you guys on next week's show.